G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And uh, with me here today we've got Slug, our inland or western taipan. Now if you've been watching our videos, Slug here is a, a bit of a star. She's been in a few of our videos already. So if you haven't uh, subscribed, duck back and have a look at some of them. We talk about all sorts of other topics about venomous snakes with Slug. But today we wanted to tackle a bit of a myth that's pretty widespread throughout the reptile hobby. And that is, uh, who is the deadliest snake in the world? A lot of people say it's, number one, the inland taipan, or fear snake. And the other contender that a lot of people quote is the belcher's sea snake. So uh, stay tuned, we'll have a bit of a chat about the facts and try and figure out just who's more venomous. The inland taipan, or the belcher's sea snake guy? Stay tuned. They're pretty dangerous. For all we can walk up and down the Whether or not the inland taipan or the belcher sea snake is the most venomous snake on earth is something that a lot of people have debated for a long time. And uh, basically, to understand the differences, you've got to understand a little bit about how we measure the toxicity in snakes. Now, I'm not going to explain the whole method of testing here because I've got a video about it that we put only two weeks ago. So uh, if you want to understand that, duck back, have a look at that, and then come back here. But in essence, they inject the venom into a mouse and uh, the smallest the quantity of venom required to kill the mouse is how we decide who's, which snake is the most venomous. The tricky thing is, venom can be injected a couple of different ways. The first is subcutaneously, which means under the skin, and that's how most of our snakes are tested. The second is intramuscularly, which is into the muscles, and the third, which doesn't happen very often, is intravenously, which is basically directly into the bloodstream. Now, where this gets things confusing is the Belcher's sea snake, the, the studies that some people quote, involve him using a, a smaller dose of venom than the inland taipan to kill a mouse. However, those tests were done with venom injected into a mice intramuscularly, whereas the taipan's test, and the tests used with most venomous snakes, is subcutaneously. So it's not really comparing apples with apples. In, in these studies, the venom's got to do a lot more work than if it's injected directly into the animal. So... To make it more confusing, the Belcher's sea snake has never actually been tested, as far as I can find, on mice subcutaneously like the rest of our venomous snakes, for some reason or another. However, there is two other sea snakes. There's the black banded sea snake, which uh, is actually more venomous than the Belcher's sea snake when tested intramuscularly. And there's also the Du Bois sea snake, which is the same thing. Intramuscularly turns out more venomous than the Belcher's sea snake as well. Now, both of these sea snakes have been tested subcutaneously as well as intramuscularly. And when tested the same way that we test the inland taipan, uh, result in being between half as venomous and only 25% as venomous as the inland taipan. So, unfortunately, we don't have a single study to compare the belchers and the inland taipan on the same ground, but we do know for a fact that there are sea snakes that are more venomous than the belchers, who are less venomous when compared the same way in a fairer study than the taipan, which would safely make the inland taipan the most venomous snake on earth, on land or on sea. So there you go, guys. Australia still has the most venomous snake on earth, the inland taipan. Now, as always, for more videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's plenty of videos with slug, the taipan, we've got crocodile videos, possums, sugar gliders, all sorts of cool Australian wildlife. Uh, other than that, uh, if you've got any questions, please shoot us a message. We're always happy to tackle them and we're always needing more ideas for our videos. Um, other than that, guys, like always, have a good one and take care.